Hi everybody, I'm here today with Kartike and Murli at the end of the Rilton Cup here in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, today is Kartik's 20th birthday. Happy birthday, Kartik. Oh, thank you very much. So how does it feel celebrating your birthday away from home in Sweden? Okay, I feel very good because uh, I was unbeaten in this tournament. Uh, I had a very good tournament overall in Rilton. Uh, that too, uh, I'm getting I'm getting birthday in this tournament, so I feel very happy about this. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> today was my birthday. Okay, today I had a terrible game, but somehow I managed to draw that game. So, yeah. so, so uh, did you feel pressure to win this last round to come in the top three? Okay, I don't want to pressure myself because uh, it's just a game. I want to play a good game today. So I, I felt I played all best moves until I made the blunder. So it's overall a good game today. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, which was the best game of this tournament for you? Okay, today, uh, I mean, in this tournament, I think I the best game would be with uh, Taibo. I played with him in 7th uh, round, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong. So, that was the best game, I feel. So, would you like to walk us through your game, please? Okay, the game was like, uh, it was a uh, King's Indian defense. Uh, it went like D4, Knight of 6, C4, G6, Knight C3, Bishop G7, E4, D6, Knight of 3, Castle, Bishop E2, E5. Castle knight c6, d5, knight e7, and he played b4, knight h5, g3, f5, knight g5, knight f6, bishop f3, and I made a now uh, it's not novelty, but I made a rare move rook b8 here. Hmm. So uh, the main moves are mostly bishop e3 and uh, b5, but my opponent played bishop e3. It's kind of weird because the bishop is doing nothing there. So I found it. Uh, okay, so I found that it's not a good move there. So after bishop e3. Either I can play, I played h6 in the game, or uh, I can play f and d4 also there. But I felt h6 is more good for me. So I played h6, knight e6, bishop e6, d6, and now I played queen c8. Okay, instead of queen c8, I had an option of f and d4, knight e4, and uh, knight e4, bishop e4, queen c8. But uh, after b5, queen e6, I felt that uh, white has some common sense because of the double bishops. So, uh, Considering that I played queen c8 without uh, f and d4. So after queen c8, uh, I played knight d5, that was the correct move. After queen d6, I think knight c7 was the same mistake. Because after knight c7, queen d7, uh, he can't protect his e4 pawn. So for queen e6, I think he should have gone f e into f5 directly. So what I was planning is e f5 and uh, knight into f5, knight c7, queen c4. But uh, this looked very. Uh, this looked equal. I mean, after rook c1, I felt that uh, it should be equal at least for uh, for white. So after e f5, I had another idea, which is g into f5, knight c7, queen d7. But I think uh, this should be equal, like knight d5, e4, and uh, maybe e1, knight e7 check, and bishop g2 back. But uh, even black is not was here, I can just keep on trying that position. But uh, what he played is that uh, of e into f5, he played knight c7 directly. So knight c7, queen d7, and then uh, knight b5, e f e4, bishop g2, knight f5. At this position, I felt that I am clearly better because of the pawns in the center. And he has uh, bishop on a3, which is not doing anything. So after knight f5, he played rook e1. I felt that is correct move. Rook e1, I played rook c8. Uh, rook e1, rook c8, knight c3, rook into c4, and then queen b3. No, sorry, rook e1, rook c8, knight c3, I played e3 first. I can play rook and c4 also, but I felt e3 would be more stronger than rook and c4. So, e3, f3, rook c4, queen b3, and then queen of 7. So, after queen of 7, I think he had to make some uh, uh, decisions here. I mean, after queen of 7, he played rook c1, that was fine. Uh, so, for rook c1, I played e4, e4, b5, rook e8. I think here, knight d5 was not the best move. Because after knight d5, uh, it's uh, getting liquidated and uh, I am getting more chances for win. So instead of knight d5, maybe I think uh, you can just wait so wait, wait with someone. I'll say like, uh, I don't know, maybe just uh, bishop b4 for example. The point is that uh, now uh, my pieces are tied. I can't play d5 because of I into d5 tactic. Hmm. And uh, uh, I have to play something like... Uh, uh, I don't know, um, maybe something like h5, but uh, he has to wait basically. 
So instead of waiting, he played knight d5. So this gave me some chance in the ending. Like after uh, knight d5, rook c1, knight of 6 check, bishop of 6, queen of 7 check, king of 7, rook into c1. Now I had a chance of playing bishop g5 directly, but uh, somehow I felt that bishop d8 would be more stronger because he doesn't have rook c7 check and he has to make a choice, hmm. which will uh, make him lose time. So after bishop d8, he has so many chances like rook f1, let's say rook f1 or king f2, rook c8, there are so many choices. So he has to make a decision. So uh, like I thought, uh, he wasted some time here, uh, I think around 15 minutes and he played rook c8. Uh, for me it looked obvious to play rook c8 but uh, he had some choice. So he took some time and played rook c8. But rook c8, I think uh, after d5, uh, my position is better here yeah, simply. After d5, bishop c1, bishop b6, I think I'm, uh, sorry, bishop c1, bishop g5, I think the position is completely fine for me after that. So uh, I felt that this was the game I played better uh, compared to other games. Lovely. So this was a good game according to, uh, in my view. Very uh, nice, very uh, good. Uh, so uh, you know you've achieved so much. You're yeah. just 20 years old. You've just mm -hmm. entered your 20s. Yeah. You know, I mean, other 20 year olds they probably don't even achieve one tenth of what you achieve, okay. Karthik. So, uh, tell me, what are your aspirations now? Where do you go from here? You've already crossed 2600 once. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you want to stay there for a while. Yeah. So, what are your aspirations? Okay. What is your New Year's resolution uh, for 2019? Okay, I just want to keep on practice, keep on practicing more, uh, more, I mean, in openings, in middle games. I want to keep on practice. And then... Uh, for me, I am. Uh, I have some targets, but I can't reveal it right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's not so much a secret. I have to just cross twenty six fifty. That's my resolution this year. That's nice. Yeah. So I am working towards it. Uh, so you know, the good yeah. thing is when you reveal it on Chessbase India, then uh, you have so many supporters who will now always uh, motivate you to get there. Yeah, of course. So of course. revealing yeah. a secret on Chessbase India is always a good thing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, that's your uh, that's your personal. Yeah, that's my personal aim. Very nice, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. And this is very difficult, right? Now once yeah. you've reached a rating like this, so you're mm -hmm. putting setting tough targets for yourself. Yeah. Uh, where do you go from here? After Actually, this? after this, I'm playing Delhi Open, which is about to start on 9th January, I think. Yes. After that, uh, I'm playing Gibraltar. Mm -hmm. So the list the list goes on. After Gibraltar, I'm playing national team. And then uh, PSP, uh, I mean uh, this uh, Aeroflot chess, and then PSPB, and the and there's tournaments coming on after that. Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are with uh, the Chess Gurukul Academy, right? Yeah. With R B Ramesh it's sir. Right. Yeah. So uh, you know you have so many little children looking up to you in the academy. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that you constantly advise them on to improve chess? Okay, my basic uh, suggestion is that you have to go love and work. You just you know, don't need to work. Uh, because your parents have said to play like this, not like that. So you have to love what you do and then you have to work hard on that. Uh, basically, I would say smart work, not hard work. So you have to just plan and work on uh, whatever you do. I think uh, that's more than enough. If you work sincerely, if you feel that you're working good, then it's fine for you. That's all. I, uh, other than that, I don't think uh, you need some suggestion other than that. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. And is there any particular book that you would like to uh, recommend to uh, maybe people who are you know mm. trying to cross twenty two hundred to twenty four hundred to twenty six hundred? Any mm. any special books that you refer to that you would like to share? Okay, uh, uh, what I used to do is I used to study end game first, then I'll come to middle game and then openings. So in that case, uh, first uh, for end games, I would suggest uh, end game challenge. There's a book called End Game Challenge. After that, uh, there is another book called uh, How to Play Chess in Games okay. and uh, maybe uh, there is also this, uh, 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 no I forgot the name of the book. Okay, these two are the main books I used to read uh, for in games mm -hmm. and uh, and also this uh, CDs of Karsten Muller. Uh, there were there were six volumes, I think. Okay. Each one had some 15 episodes, something like that. Okay. So uh, it was very helpful for me uh, during my beginning, big, I mean, when I was 22, 2300. Okay. After that, uh, in uh, if you see in middle games, there are so many books like Winning Pawn Structures, Imagination in Chess. Uh, there are n number of books, so we can refer uh, whatever you want. Hmm. Uh, then... Uh, for openings, basically, you can just uh, see the games of top players. 
that's uh, that's what I would suggest for twenty two twenty three hundred players. I see. Yeah. Other than that, I think uh, you can just refer other books also. There there should be other books also. So these are the books I would suggest. That's, for uh, young players that's great yeah. that's great mm-hmm. uh, Kar- kartik you've had a fabulous journey yeah. and uh, it was very good talking to you today mm, thank you how yeah. are you going to go and celebrate today now uh, okay yeah uh, Obviously, uh, <laughs> all day you've been only doing chess. Yeah. And by the way, I have to tell the viewers: right mm-hmm. after he finished his game, he went and played another game with Somya Samarminathan. So okay, clearly, I didn't play. <laughs> Actually, at least air game. Uh, oh, you I analyzed your game. Yeah, yeah, okay, course, okay, yeah. okay. And uh, of course, there we we have to tell everybody that you have an alternate career. Just in case you decide you don't want to play chess, you can mm-hmm. become a football champion, right? Football? No, come on. <laughs> I, I saw you. <laughs> okay, I did. It's uh, just basic knowledge. Like uh, I, I saw some uh, videos in football, so I just play according to that. But you're yeah. a natural. I mean, <laughs> you just kill everybody. Of course, when you're on the attacking side, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that was also very fun to watch. I've mm-hmm. got a video of you guys. We'll try and post that as well. Okay, I think I saw some photos. You, I think you uploaded. It I we did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So <laughs> I no, received some. It's uh, I, my cousin sent me like. Uh, Oh. What, what are you doing? You are not playing chess. Something. Like <laughs> yeah, chess players uh, are not allowed to take a break. <laughs> okay, but this one once in a while, right? So, yeah, yeah, no, no. But it's yeah. actually very refreshing after the yeah, game. Of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll, you'll just do. It's like uh, if you uh, walk for some twenty minutes. It's just instead of walking, you're just playing football. For absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. No, no, that was fun too. <laughs> thank you so much for talking yeah. to us, Karthik, thank and you, uh, wish you a fabulous birthday again and mm, a thank you. beautiful two thousand nineteen. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.